Finally, let's look at another topic, which is the dependence of cell potential for an electrochemical reaction on temperature, which means the cell potential may change with temperature. Okay, so let's look at this example. Uh, for a hydrogen fuel cell, for a hydrogen fuel cell, which essentially uh, represent the electrochemical reaction between hydrogen gas and oxygen gas to form water. Between hydrogen gas H2 and oxygen gas O2 to form water H2O. And of course, this reaction needs to be balanced for hydrogen on the left, for hydrogen on the right, to oxygen on the left, to oxygen on the right. So with this overall full cell reaction, we want to use the Gibbs formation energy data to calculate standard cell potential, standard cell potential at different temperature. Okay, so the reaction gives free energy change delta Rg zero R for reaction gives free energy change under standard condition would be the Gibbs formation energy for all products minus the Gibbs formation energy for all reactant. So product is water in gas phase and don't forget the factor of two, the stoichiometric coefficient for product. And then for reactant, we have hydrogen, hydrogen, but then also don't forget the fact of two for stoichiometric coefficient. And then similarly for oxygen, we have the standard formation energy and the coefficient is just one. And then when you think a little bit, hydrogen gas, that's the standard formation energy would be zero because it's, it is the reference or standard state. And oxygen, similarly would also be zero because it's pure element in a standard state gas. So these two terms would be zero. As a result, the reaction keeps free energy change on the standard state would just be equal to two times the Gibbs formation energy for water, uh, in this case, gaseous state. And then as a result, the standard cell potential E0 would be the standard reaction free energy change divided by Nf. N is the mole of electron transferred per mole of progression. F would be the Faraday constant. And in this case, N would be four electron because each of the oxygen is reduced from a zero valence as in oxygen gas to minus two valence in water. So two oxygen totally four electron transferred times Faraday constant. Okay? And two and four we would remove the fact of two. The standard cell potential would be just uh, the formation energy for water divided by two times Faraday constant. Okay? And then if you check JNF table or CLC handbook, you can get the formation energy, Gibbs formation energy for water in gas state at a different temperature. In this case, I listed from 400 Kelvin all the way to 1000 Kelvin and it is in the unit of uh, kilojoule per mole. And I put a negative sign here so that uh, these values are positive. And then they calculated the standard cell potential under standard condition, one atmosphere hydrogen, one atmosphere of oxygen, one atmosphere of uh, water would to be these different values. And uh, you see that the standard cell potential actually decrease, decrease with increase in temperature. If you plot that up, the standard cell potential decreases with increase in temperature. Okay, so this we showed an example to 
to illustrate that cell potential will depend on temperature for a given electrochemical reaction, as shown here.